and we are at a complete stalemate. This other person is kind of waving to me up there. Hey everyone, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today, this is software update 2025.38.3.2. This is on the 2025 Cybertruck. And you can see that this initial update was minor fixes, but we were actually all the way down here at 32.3 when we got this rave cave, which is basically just the lights um, around the cabin will dance with the music. So we're gonna start from down here. So we do get a, min a few minor updates um, in terms of some Apple music improvements, and you can pause the video if you wanna read the rest. New scroll wheel functions are also included with this. So by holding, which, um, I've already checked the box for this. So if I go over here, and this works for S3X and Y um, as well as the Cybertruck. So if I hold this left scroll wheel here, then this menu pops up here at the bottom. So I can scroll through different menu options in terms of defrost, dome light, glove box. And then I would just simply, you can see over here that I would just right click to select or I can exit um, and then there's several different options in here, including ride height. And then of course with, let's say ride height, then I could click in and I could go up to a certain mode, or now I have the option to go back, clicking left back to the menu. Really nice dynamically if you're driving and you wanna switch a couple things around. So I really like that particular setting. You can also set it to just one function. Um, so just keep that in mind. Dashcam viewer updates now include a couple street names just to help it a little bit easier. And it includes higher resolution from the Tesla app, but just keep in mind that you need to have the latest version of that Tesla app. Side cameras are now being recorded. I think this is Cybertruck specific, but please let me know down in the comment section if that is wrong. 3D building, so now in the maps, you do have an option does require premium connectivity to switch and have 3D mapping, which can be helpful if you're in a downtown area. Tron mode, which I'm kind of excited about because this can open the door to a lot of partnerships with Tesla. Some other people are like, ooh, this is sneaky advertising, but this is an option. It's on off. It's in the toy box and you can turn on Tron and off, which I'll do real quick for you guys. So you can see it's over here as the most recent in the toy box. So if we do turn it on, it does start playing this really loud um, Tron intro. And then it does go to a Nine Inch Nails song automatically, which I am gonna pause so we don't get demonetized. And then you can hear that kind of Tron hum in the background there. And then if I do put my foot on the brake and then slide into drive, you can see that this guy then does hop on the motorcycle. And so basically where your car would be on the UI of your Tesla, there would be, um, you know, the Tron guy would show up. And then to turn that off, you simply go back to toy box uh, to toggle it off. That was Tron mode. And then in this latest and greatest update, 38.3.2, we just got minor fixes with no additional notes there. So I am gonna be doing FSD testing. Cybertruck, at least my Cybertruck, does not have version 14 yet. This is the latest and greatest, and this is 13.2.9. So we are gonna be testing FSD version 13.2.9. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are. I do have the Cybertruck in drive, the steering wheel is here. So if you have a Tesla with no stocks, all you do is click on the right ball to get the car to start going. The left turn signal does come on, a little bit of braking hesitation there. No movement yet. You can kind of see the crossroad is right here. It is clear and it does make the left-hand turn. So we are going from one gravel road to another there. So there is a little bit of road transition, but the FSD was able to overcome that little bit. I have seen a lot of hesitation in terms of the Cybertruck starting off and the speed that it goes on gravel roads when compared directly to the same FSD version on our Model Y. I feel like the Model Y is definitely performing a lot better than the Cybertruck in most circumstances. Single lane gravel road going significantly uh, slower under this 25 mile an hour posted speed limit, about 16 miles per hour now. Now 
this is another example where I feel like the cyber truck is going too slow here now at 14 miles per hour. I want to see the cyber truck go a little bit. Um, the Model Y will go a little bit faster in this same circumstance. Transitioning from gravel to a paved surface now, and you can see that ever so slightly, it has changed the speed up a little bit, but still we're not even at the posted speed limit. In hurry mode, even though this is a narrower road, a single lane um, or one and a half lane paved surface road with no lane markings, I wanna see it go a little bit faster. It's driving like I'm in granny mode, and I guess Tesla's gonna add that soon, that'll be under chill. Passing a car here on this one and a half lane road, let's see what it does. It looks like this is gonna be easy. That lady's pulling over for us a little bit and the cyber truck or the FSD rather just carry straight forward. Slowing down here, it does see the stop sign that is a little bit hidden over there. Funky intersection here. We do have this car that should go in front of us. We do have an oncoming traffic and another truck that it needs to wait for. So we have traffic coming from this direction, kind of behind us that we have to watch for, but I think the FSD is gonna wait for this car over here at this intersection. Very funky and unique intersection. Let's see if this car goes. So the FSD definitely knows that it's the other person's turn to go. And we are at a complete stalemate. This other person is kind of waving to me up there. And so out no movement, and I'm gonna push the pedal forward. Really bad job by the FSD. I'm gonna disengage there. The FSD got stuck at the intersection and would not proceed forward, so I had to push the accelerator pedal uh, to proceed forward. The cross traffic was waiting for us to go. Turning FSD back on. Pretty uh, not great job there by the FSD. It was way too hesitant. Again, we're in hurry mode, and it was just kind of way too hesitant and definitely stalled waiting for that person at the other stop sign to go. Stop sign here, coming to a full stop. No crash traffic, it is our turn to go. And the FSD does proceed. So now it is our turn, it needs to scoot up a little bit to this stop sign, full stop, then should creep forward. This is a busy one lane road that we need to turn right on. So I would like to see it creep out a little bit. I'm not sure how much, and I guess it can see a lot of those cars down the road in that direction. Again, steady traffic, it has to be absurdive here. There is a gap here and it is gonna take it. Great job by the FSD. up here in about 0.2 needs to make a left-hand turn so a left turn signal should come on 
and then it's a transition over into this left hand turn lane to follow most of the traffic left turn signal is on is transitioning over excellent job by the fsd even with this funky car in front of us that uh thought it was going to go straight for the last second but great job by the fsd transitioning over here you have a flashing yellow light and it does look like no slowdown by the fsd so very appropriate and exactly what it needs to do so it looks like we do have some options here and it does say that traffic is up ahead so it's going to turn left but i'd like to select this other option it looks like i did it a little bit too late because the fsd has already chosen to come into this lane so even though i did pick this option to head straight it does look like the fsd is in this lane so not to confuse things anymore i'm going to go back to the original option that did have us turning left here at this red light green arrow fsd does go very confidently left turn maneuver excellent job by the fsd transitioning now over into this right hand lane love to see that love to see it even in hurry mode get out of that passing lane or the left lane and in about a mile we are turning right anyway so excellent move by the fsd now transitioning over into this left hand lane I think that it did see way up ahead that the lane is close, which is very impressive in terms of the distance that it saw this stop truck with an arrow pointing over. I'm assuming that's why it got over because it's not like there was a slower traffic in front of us. So really good job by the FSD seeing way, way back that this right lane was closed. Excellent job by the FSD. Now let's see if it transitions back over into the right hand lane and it does right turn signal does come on and it transitions right over back into this right hand turn lane a right hand lane rather excellent job by the fsd in about 0.3 we are going to be turning right at a traffic signal right turn signal does come on transitions into this right hand turn lane excellent job we just missed the green arrow so it is going to need to come to a full stop of course after this car goes There's our full stop. Now to creep up. No traffic. Excellent job by the FSD. Very assertive. I like that. It did the NHTSA stop there. It went down to zero and then crept forward before it completed its right turn. Right turn signal does come on again. We are going to be turning right next to this Ford Lightning there. And it looks like the navigation has us snaking through the parking lot a little bit. And it looks like maybe... Let's see if it does just end up parking because you can see that we are off the navigation and turned one early. Left turn signal does come on. It looks like it's gonna take us to the front door. And I'm going to let it play out, I think. And it looks like there is a free spot here that I don't have the option to select uh, it to go park yet other than selecting here on the display and then going to auto park because this is just version 13. Now I've noticed that when I am doing the auto park it is significantly slower than our Model Y even running the same FSD. You can kind of see the hesitation here um, in terms of backing up. There is somebody walking behind us there. Again a little bit of hesitation. And it looks like it's going pretty close to this other car here. I am covering the brake. Now it's gonna correct again forward. And it is gonna back up again. 
So slowly but surely, the Cybertruck will do the auto park, but again, it is significantly slower than the Model Y. Auto park complete does put itself in park. That concludes this FSD test. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this video. Share it with a friend or somebody else who is interested in FSD or who's doubting FSD. There is definitely still some work that needs to be done. I'm excited to get version 14. Subscribe to this channel because as soon as I get it on here, I am gonna be testing it on the Cybertruck and also on our Model Y. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.